clearly the, the premiership is the highlight of your footy career. Is there one, though, one personal moment in the journey that really is means a lot to you? Again, your perspective changes as you get older and, and you look back on it, I think, um, especially now with, with kids yourself. And, and there probably, probably is one. And um, it was the lead-up to my 200th game and I got an email, or the club got an email, I think, that they passed on to me from um, a young mother whose young daughter um, was in hospital with, with cancer. I think she was eight at the time. And for whatever reason, uh, I was a favourite. She was a mad Collingwood supporter. Um, and for whatever reason, number 12, maybe she just liked number 12. I was her <laughs> favourite. Um, somehow, maybe she thought that too many people like Swan and Thomas. And Anyway, so, and I remember reading a, reading a lovely letter and um, going and visiting her at, at the time in hospital and, you know, taking her a bit of Collingwood gear and all that sort of stuff. And... Um, I'm not sure who's... I'm not sure I can claim... I'll say it was my idea, but I said, I think I remember saying to her, you know, I'm hopefully I'm going to play my 200th game in a month's time. I'd love you to be well enough to, to come out and, and run out on the ground with me. Um, I don't have any kids, um, so I'd love you to be able to do that. And fast forward, and sure enough, um, she was, and she, she got herself out of hospital and, um, and ran out with me for my 200th game, which, you know, which um, ended up being my last milestone and we ran through the banner and um, I remember mum saying make sure you give her a, mm. a cuddle um, when you run out and so we ran through the banner and I knelt down you know tired, I knelt down and, and wrapped my arm around, around her and said you know thanks thanks for thanks for running out with me and um, the cameraman was right there and got a lovely lovely shot of it mm. and um, I've got that photo at home and so that's a moment. And so just to be, and I think all players, players are really good at that. You know? Yeah, they are. Um, and, it, and it can be, it's, a, it's tough at times being um, a role model and, and being held up um, by younger people. Um, but I always thought that if you could have, you know, if you can have a positive impact on, on someone's life just by doing something as simple as picking up the phone mm. or going and paying, taking half an hour of your time to give them a quick visit, um, then, you know, you really should do it. I agree. Player. They're magic moments for, they are. for well, everyone, we're, for all we're of us. Everyone was kids as well, and yeah, I remember, yeah. remember that happening to me. So, um, and fast forward, what's that? Fast forward seven years. She's, I think, fifteen or sixteen now, and um, she's uh, f healthy and. And she's got a lifelong memory. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. But yeah. but more importantly, she's healthy and she's. Yep. Um, yep. Um, she, yeah, she's going really well. So that's yeah. That, that, so that photo, I suppose, is uh, is something that I probably look at as f with with as much fondness now yeah. as as any of the the footy based ones.